Hey, it's Dave from TCS TV. Today we're excited, we're testing out Panasonic's brand new TS7. This is the shockproof, waterproof camera, and we thought what better way to test it than take it down the Bow River today. Grab your paddles and let's go. So we're floating down the bow here, and this is a really uh, good time, actually. I'm having a blast, it's very relaxing, but it's really hot. Uh, and uh, Brandon forgot my hat in the truck. Says he brought a spare, and um, I'm not a big fan of it, but it's really hot. Um, let me know what you guys think of this. You can see downtown Calgary in the background here, and our destination for today is just on the other side of it. It's a place called Harvey's Passage, and it's a man-made whitewater rafters paradise. It's amazing because it's right downtown Calgary. Um, so we're going to see some whitewater kayakers there, and uh, we might even run the rapids, and that's where I think this camera is going to be amazing because it is definitely going to get wet. So the TS7 is the latest in the lineup from Panasonic of this style of camera. It has a brand new 20 megapixel sensor, has a 4.6x zoom, shoots 4K video. It is dustproof, which is really important, um, and of course is waterproof and shockproof. So when we got word that this camera was coming in, and we're coming up with ideas, we thought, yeah, let's float down the Bow River. It'd be great. Um, and there'll be some girls involved. Uh, Evelyn is actually still shooting the stampede, and um, so right now it's just two dudes floating down the river. So. Uh. So the Panasonic TS7 has a very unique feature. It has an electronic viewfinder. And on a bright sunny day like today, you know, I'm having a lot of trouble looking through the rear screen like this. But you need to hold up to my eye, look at the viewfinder like this, take a shot, this is fantastic. I can accurately frame, I can accurately focus, and uh, see what's going on rather than trying to just spray and pray through the rear screen. The Panasonic TS7 has a brand new 20 megapixel sensor. That's more than enough resolution for most people's needs. As you can see in these sample shots, the lower ISOs look pretty clean, but at the higher ISOs, we're gonna get some grain and some noise creeping in for sure, and that's typical of a sensor this size. Uh, what's gonna bother a lot of photo enthusiasts though is it doesn't shoot in RAW. I had a bit of time on the river here and kind of play with this camera. I've got it strapped to my life jacket here and it's really handy. It's nice I don't have to worry about being banged by my paddle or hit or something like that or get wet or splashed. Um, I'm finding when I'm shooting with it, whether it's the electronic viewfinder or the screen here, uh, it's a little laggy in the focus and I find the shutter button a little laggy as well. It works, but you just have to be aware of that when you're shooting with it. The Panasonic TS7 has a 4.6x zoom. It's a 28 to 128 millimeter equivalent range with an aperture of 3.3 to 5.9. It's a little on the slow side, but on a bright day like today, I don't think anybody's really gonna mind. The 28 millimeter is sufficiently wide enough to get some nice sort of uh, uh, scenery shots like this and then be able to zoom in on some details and hopefully these city shots will, uh, will show you a little bit here. So one thing I find a bit odd about this camera is it doesn't have an aperture mode or a shutter mode, um, but it does have full manual. I find that a bit odd, actually. So since we're reviewing an action camera, I'm having action drink today. I'm usually doing Red Bull or some kind of caffeinated drink, but today I'm trying to stick to something more natural. So we're coming up to Calgary's Peace Bridge, and this is a really cool bridge. It's a bit controversial because it costs way more to make than uh, and build than people thought it should, but it's pretty impressive. Oh, we have a little friend here. TS7 is capable of 4K video in 24 or 30p. If you need a little faster than that, it's 1080 at 60 or 30, uh, which works pretty well. Panasonic generally has very good video quality. Right now we're filming on a GH4 because our boss didn't trust us with a GH5. Thought it might get a little wet today. All right, looks like we have a party boat coming up. I don't mind because there's girls on that one. Maybe they'll like my hat. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, let's see the jump, let's see the jump. <laughs> this camera has 49 autofocus points and you can either select a single individual point or you can mix it up and have multiple groups and whatever else. I am finding the focusing is acceptable but it's not blazingly fast so if you're using a camera like this, you know, floating down the river I'm primarily using an intelligent auto mode which does a pretty decent job of everything put in front of it but I do find the focusing a little on the laggy side and a little tough to work with on a moving boat. Wow, she's hot. So one thing that's kind of bugging me on this trip 
It does have an electronic viewfinder, but it doesn't have an automatic sensor to it. So with other cameras on the market, I raise my eyes to the viewfinder and it switches over automatically. On this camera here, I have to push the button and decide if I want the electronic viewfinder or the rear screen. And I'm finding that a little on the annoying side. We just finished the Bow River. Now we're at Harvey Passage, our final destination. This is going to be great. I can't wait to run these rapids. They're class two rapids. I think we can do it. I think we might have hit worse on the river. So we're going to check it out and hopefully we're going to see some kayakers and some other stuff here as well. All right, guys, here we go. These are probably the biggest ones we're going to run today. <laughs> I can't believe this is in downtown Calgary, just outside of it. All right, here we go, another big set right here. All right guys, we ran the rapids, we had a great time, we survived, um, we had a little water in the boat, but that's all part of it. It's a great time. Uh, we're gonna pack our boat away and we're gonna watch some kayakers and some people do some whitewater tricks. All right, so a couple things on this camera that are pretty cool and unique to Panasonic, and one is the 4K photo mode. This allows you to take a burst of photos at 30 frames per second at eight megapixels. This is great if you want to shoot sort of high-speed action and you're okay with that resolution. Panasonic TS7 has performed really quite well for us, and I've really enjoyed it. At the end of the day, my little nitpicks with this camera, the focusing is a bit sluggish, it's only 10 frames per second for 11 frames, so it's only one second. All these little nitpicks like this, the way the viewfinder is implemented. After a while, I found myself learning the camera and really quite enjoying it. It does offer me a little more flexibility than a GoPro does. And in an action environment like this, maybe that's enough to put it into people's hands. So thanks for watching us go down the river today. Enjoy these rapids here with the Panasonic TS7. Hope you learned a few things. If you have any questions, concerns, leave a comment down below. We do go through them. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Thanks for watching.